Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome. Hi, I'm Hannah, a mum of four, ranging from 16 years down to a three-year-old, and we live as a family of six in the southeast of England. Um, <laughs> this is the third time of trying to film this intro, just so that I can show you what I've wasted, well not wasted, spent my money on today in Asda. So, this is an Asda weekly food shop for you or food haul if you're not in the uk you you say hauls um i'll put the prices on the screen for each of the items and i'll tell you at the end how much i spent um i, I just can't go over how much i am spending on food each week it's, it's beyond a joke i say that i'm going to do a low budget low spend week and yeah, if I go to a supermarket, I spend double the amount. But if I go online and do an online shop, looks like I've got sold all the show for it. So can't bloody win nowadays at the moment, can we? But I have been to Asda, like I said, and I have got some food to show you. So I've got three bits of frozen that I need to quickly show you so I could put them in the freezer because um, the golden stars have already started going a bit soft, so... These are for Nathan because we have got a well-stocked freezer at the moment and I am trying to run down and use all the items that are in there before I restock it again with all muscle foods, meat and all that lot. But Nathan is my three-year-old with autism and he does have he does have a well good diet, a really good diet, well good, really good diet, but sometimes he just needs his comfort foods and it is like a regular kind of how do you say it convenience food for him but um i always have make sure i have some of these golden smiley stars in the freezer for him some form of chicken nugget or breaded meat for him and today i picked up the nine whole grain safari animal chicken shapes and then i just got him some breaded chicken nuggets as well he has sausages he has satay skewers all that lot in the fridges and freezers already so they will be for him to go along with our meals this week. I'm just going to pause this quickly and get these put away. Okay, I'm back. Thank God, because picking those items up off the counter, I've just dropped my phone on tiled floor. Right down there. Luckily, it didn't smash and it carried on pausing the video. So, I'm back. Let's get this done quickly because Steve has just gone to pick up chloe shane and nathan from school and nursery so i want to get this done before the um loudness and the chaos begins <laughs> so here we have bread products we have two packets of the white uh, sorry the tortillas wheat and corn these are to go with um some dinners this week and next week or lunches for steve because he d he likes enchiladas and I've got enchilada kits, but there's never enough wraps in them. So um, I've got extras just to make the kit go a bit further. Um, two packets of mini white wraps. They are for Hayley's pack lunches this week. Two packets of big wheat, wheat, white wraps. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, my head is, look, I'm just not having a very good day. I'm, I'm all over the place. Dropping things. Nearly passed out in Asda. I, stopped. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't catch my breath for some reason. But I'm back. Oh, look. Right. Four packets of sage and onion stuffing mix. That is for my pantry because the teenagers are back at school. And as a lunch, sometimes when they come home on a Wednesday, they like stuffing and gravy. So that's them. Really not having a good day, guys. But I wanted to get this video recorded for you. Two lots of six pints of full fat cow's milk for Nathan and cereals. At the back, we've got some jars and tins. A quick and easy jar of sweet and sour sauce for me to make Steve sweet and sour chicken and rice for work lunches. Six cans of the Asda's Essential sweet corn. Four jars of the chicken tikka masala. We have got curry cooking for dinner tonight. It's in my slow cooker. That is what... Whoop! We're steaming up. That is what we've got cooking tonight. 
So it's in the slow cooker because um, I've got to go out late at dinner time to take buttons to the vets. Don't worry, she's not ill at the moment. It's her post-op appointment. She got spayed last week. It's just to make sure she's all doing well. Um, so they are to use the two to replenish the two jars that I've used for tonight and then two more for another night. I got four cans of chicken and white sauce. This is a staple in our house. Kids absolutely love it with pasta. And it was two for four pounds in Asda, which was cheaper than their own chicken and white sauce. So that's why I got Prince's. Uh, then back down here, move them out of the way a minute. I got a pack of 16 air fryer trays, but I was thinking I'm just going to make pies and crumbles in them rather than um, having to use China Tupperware and have to wash it up. This is for when I'm being a bit lazy, to be truthful. So that was them. Then I saw these for when I'm not being lazy and I want to get out in the kitchen and do some baking. These are four little tartlet baking trays with bottoms, removable bottoms. Obviously, there's six of us, so I couldn't just get one pack. Got two of them. They're for my baking. So when I make things like um, little mini... Um, lemon meringue pies and stuff like that that'll be good yummy um steve i got him some tunnocks um real milk chocolate caramel wafer biscuits for pack lunches although they probably won't last that long two boxes of the original jaffa cakes okay you can't beat them you can't beat them although i have got asda's jaffa cakes as well next to me but that's i'll explain that in a minute but if you can get the real thing, get the real thing. They were on offer 150 for the twin pack. Chloe's yogurts for us to get her medication into her. They only had these on offer, so I picked them up. I will need some more for during the week. Jammy Dodgers. I do love a Jammy Dodger. I hold my hands up. Um, we've got the Apple and Black Current Burst and then the original Raspberry. They were 50p a pack at the moment, so we've got two each of them uh gravy granules there is another one somewhere i don't know what, oh right right there look it was cheaper to buy two of these ones which were 300 grams than buying asda's 500 gram one these were one pound ten and obviously i get 600 grams whereas if i bought asda's big box which was 500 grams it would have been the same price so I got two individual ones. Steve picked up two tins of evaporated milk. Picked up two mint. Oh, I got mint jelly. Eww. That may be where I cocked up. I normally get mint sauce, but I got mint jelly. So hopefully it'll be the same. That's for when we have our legs of lamb. Uh, we used the last of the apple sauce from the pantry when we had pork yesterday. So I got two more jars of the apple sauce. Uh, then we go up. We'll go up. Two packets of the McCoy's Thai sweet chicken crisps for Steve. Then we've got my wall of packet mixes. Yes, it would be quicker and easier. To, no, it wouldn't be quicker and easier. It would be more cost effective to make my own seasonings. And I do plan on doing that. But for the moment, I've bought the kits. They were cheaper than Tesco's as well. They were one sixty nine each for these kits, whereas Tesco's is one eighty nine. So I got two of the. Right, we're going to watch this. We're going to knock it all down again. Two of the fajita kits with the smoky barbecue, and in there you get the tortillas, the salsa, and the seasoning. And yes, you could buy it cheaper from Lidl and Aldi and make it, but you know, not at the moment. Got those ones got the original two of them and then i got two of the enchilada kits as well because steve likes them and if i'm gonna make enchiladas i'll make a big old batch for him to take some to work and then some to go in the freezer for a like a meal a dinner when i can't be bothered to cook or can't cook then at least he can pull it out and he can have a decent dinner so that's them then i got two packets of the uh Stand and stuff 
old El Paso soft tortilla bowls because I just thought I could just make um, fajita mix and put them in them for a change for the kids. They were two for three pounds, I think. So that's why I got them. And then I got two more of the Asda's taco kits, which are the 12 taco shells, tomato salsa, and the seasoning mix. The kids do like them. Steve doesn't, but me and the kids do. So we are having a Mexican night on Tuesday, I think. That's on the meal plan, which I will show you at the end of this video. Um, so the kids will choose out of these what they want me to cook. Um, two more packets of chicken. I keep saying I will do a muscle foods order because I'm getting fed up with all these chicken that I buy and I prefer muscle foods. But I don't have the space to do my big bulk meat buy at the moment. So it's just filling in the gaps with chicken breasts. So I got two of the Asda's Essential ones. They were 5 dollars for 992 grams. And then £6 for just over one kg as well so that is for the fajitas and the wraps and that on tuesday and then one for the freezer for another night's dinner and then back here yes i know nathan is three and he's not a baby but he does like these and they're nice nice little change from just bog standard biscuits we've got him the strawberry and banana biscotti and then the apple flavor as well so that's them Finally able to get the washing out on the line with the weather turning a bit nicer. So I needed some more pegs because all my other ones went in the bin in the move. So they were a pound each for 36 pegs. Two little cheese and tomato snack pizzas for Nathan for one dinner and then probably a lunch during the week. Uh, Jaffa cakes, right? Story. <laughs> Sorry. Um... We got these last time we went to Asda, the lemon Jaffa cakes. And yes, I said you can't beat the McFitties, but McFitties don't do a lemon Jaffa cake. They need to. They really, really do because these are gorgeous. They're 90p for the lemon and then we've got Nathan the strawberry because he, he had the strawberry packet last time and he loved them. So if you haven't tried these and you love lemon food like lemon products and stuff you need to try these gorgeous 90p like i said mcfitties just need to get right get their foot out their bum and make a um, lemon one rather than strawberry and cherry and all that lot um again nathan strawberry and apple melt sticks a nice little variation for him uh cooked ham cooked chicken sandwiches pat lunches chicken paste for hayley for sandwiches snacks all that sort of thing she's used them all from the pantry needed to get some more uh then we're here three packets of the crisp and apple juicy slices for Shane's pack lunches tell you asda was a bit depleted on their fruit and veg to be truthful so i'm probably going to have to do a fill-in shop with fresh fruit this week if i can get out because apparently we've got a lot of work happening to the house this week we're meant to be having the loft insulation all ripped out because of the rats. That's all being ripped out. We're meant to have builders to the side of the house fixing that. Plumbers to the back of the house to fix the drains. And then a new roof being fitted in the wet room. Yeah, let's see if it actually gets done and fixed. Eggs. I only got this 15 pack of mixed size because I couldn't find any large or medium. So I will have to get some more eggs from Lidl or Aldi. Curly kale for the guinea pigs. That can go there. Cucumbers for salads this week to go with our Mexican night. Two heads of broccoli. So there's one there, one there for dinners. Spinach for some for Steve's work lunches and some for the guinea pigs. Carrots for dinners. At the back, we have some orange juice and apple juice. Self-explanatory for the kids to drink. At the top, we have some crisps. Cheeky monkeys, which are like pom bears. Kids like them from everywhere. Two packets of the nice and spicy knickknacks. Um, I did used to get them for just Steve, but Nathan loves them as well. So he is having spicy knickknacks. <laughs> um, two, pack, two cartons of long life semi-skim milk. This is because I get full fat milk 
and we do have a guest that comes quite regularly um has dinner and spends most of the time here so um he likes to drink tea but he doesn't like really full fat milk so i'm going to when i open one of these i'm going to get some of those disposable um ice cube bags put it in the freezer so that when he is here all he's got to do is pop out a couple of ice cubes of semi-skim milk it's a nice little hack that i've been seeing around and i'm just going to do that for him quick and easy um two packets of red grapes for when Hayley goes back to school tomorrow and for the rest of the week bananas for steve and nathan strawberries for the kids for lunches and stuff lettuce for salads raspberries for nathan i forgot his blueberries and blackberries guys i completely forgot them so i am gonna have to um go and get them from somewhere else maybe straight after school run tomorrow or something i don't know um a cabbage for the guinea pigs cauliflower for us nathan's nappies he's in pampers baby dry size seven but obviously he is three but kind of at the mental age of a one and a half to two year old but we are going to see how we go with um pampers nappy uh, pants to see how we go and we're going to try the next size up because he is kind of leaking through quite a bit now as well so we're going to give them a go they were 14 pounds each or two for 19 pounds so that's why i got them cheesy curls six pack there because all the kids love them Something I haven't bought for the kids for a while are these wafer cubes, the hazelnut. They're a pound a bag. They're, the kids will grab them as soon as I finish recording this and they walk in the door. Um, Nathan's usual chocolate chip brioches. Again, they didn't have any of the chocolate filled crepe pancakes that he loves. So he'll do with these and then when I do an Iceland shop, I will grab him some of them because they're, the cheap, they're cheaper there. Two lots of the pan au chocolat for kids' pat lunches. Pat lunches, breakfasts. I picked up myself some pink lady sliced apples. That is my treat. I love this apple, but I won't, I very rarely buy it. Hayley, because Hayley was with us, she wasn't at school. She doesn't start back till tomorrow. Um, I got her some toxic waste red sour candy. She chose them. Um, some sewing needles and some black thread because my new coat that mum got me for Christmas has holes in the pockets the moment I put something in the pocket it falls right through to the base so I've got to do some sewing because I'm getting fed up of losing things in my coat and I didn't have any sewing needles because they've all gone so that is them then we've gone into a few bits that aren't really shopping but I thought I'd still show you got this t-shirt for nathan thought he would absolutely love it because it's a rubber effect plus it's raised and he does like his dinosaurs that was in sale where is the pricey taggy thingy i've lost the tag there we go it was from seven pounds down to four so even got it on the back so he will love that Haley needed some new leggings in another size she's in size 14 to 15 now um, two pack for eight pounds she wears these to school rather than school trousers um yeah she, she's allowed to do that she has kind of like sensory issues so she can't wear normal school trousers so that's for her uh more trousers for nathan we've got him some jeans they were reduced from 10 pounds down to five pounds they look absolutely huge but they are his size so hopefully he'll tolerate jeans because he's, he's not really keen on jeans at the moment. But hopefully you will get there. Steve picked up some slippers slash moccasins. Yeah. He said, when I first got with Steve, he said he would never, ever wear this type of slipper. Because my dad used to. And um, now look at him. <laughs> Been together 18 years. And now he's going to start wearing them. He picked them up. Not me. And then, last but not least... It is my mum's birthday in a week and a half. She hits the um, big 60. But she's fantastic. I do love my mummy. I wouldn't have got through the last couple of months without her. Bless her. 
and um, she's just always there whenever I need her. So um, going out for a nice birthday meal for her, and then um, me and my sister have got a nice little surprise for her as well. So um, sh you'll, you'll find out about that close to the time. But she's got birthday cards. We've got the one from the kids that says Nan. It's um, protected. And then I've got her this one as well. So that is everything I've spent my money on. Or oh, sorry, our money on. Steve and myself in Asda today. I have spent... I say I. I say we. Because Steve put stuff in the trolley as well. Today we spent a total of £238 in Asda. <gasps> I can't believe that. I really, really can't. It is getting beyond a joke. What money, what food prices, like the, oh God, the cost of food is astonishing. I thought prices were going down, but somehow they're not, you know. But um, I'll wrap up this video and then I'll just quickly add the meal plan on at the end. So stay, stay for that bit. But <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel. Same as if you are new here and like shopping hauls, please consider subscribing. It really does help. Um, and then if you do subscribe, hit that notification bell so that YouTube tells you every time I upload a new video. The more subscribers I am able to get, the more content I am able to make for you guys. And the more it helps with my anxiety and depression as well, because it's what it builds my confidence up and helps me keep going believe it or not all your lovely kind comments and um, messages that I've been getting of lately they are really nice and they are helping me get through these tough times that we are dealing with but um, I have got to get this lot away because Nathan is going to come charging through that door any minute so yeah like subscribe share if, if you know anyone that might like these videos, share with them. Please share my channel with anyone and everyone you can. Really would mean a lot to me. But um, yeah, I'm going to get this lot put away. I'll insert the meal plan at the end. And I will see you later on during the week. Bye, guys. Right, I'm back. The kids are all in now. So it is going to have Nathan whinging a little bit in the background. But I wanted to get this bit done so that I can get the video uploaded for you. This is our meal plan. Tonight we are having curry. Nathan is having rice and then some of the animal safaris that I picked up today. Tomorrow is a Mexican night. So the kids are going to choose which ones they want. Nathan is going to have the wrap, some chicken nuggets and some sweet corn with it. Um, Wednesday, I have Shane's parent-teacher afternoon and snap later on. So we are going to have some chicken burgers from the freezer. The rolls are in the freezer. And then we're just going to have maybe a bit of salad and some chips of that. And then there's snap here because I don't know what is meant to be... Um, what is meant to be uh, for snap's dinner. I won't find out until later on, probably tomorrow. Uh, Thursday, we've got some salt and chilli belly pork in the freezer, which we're going to use. Serve that with some salad and spuds. Chloe will probably have a fried chicken breast instead. Nathan is going to have his mini pizza. Friday, I've got some meatballs in the freezer. So we're going to do spaghetti and meatballs. Nathan will have the plain spaghetti with some sausages that are in the freezer. That freezer here. Um, Saturday, we were puzzled. So we're just going to do a freezer dive. I've got some microwave meals in there, some meals that I can just defrost, pull out, cook for everyone so everyone can have something different. And then Sunday, we are going to have a roast. So that is our meal plan. Let's see if we can get seven out of seven this week. Stay posted. Keep an eye out for my meals of the week on Sunday. <laughs>